Hello, welcome to Pro Mixing and Mastering. This is series number six, and today we are doing the final mixing of the chorus. So let's go ahead. This is how I do it. So let's start playing the chorus. <laughs> Each 
All right, and this is how you mix your chorus. Beautiful, right? So let me show you what I did. What I did was to make sure that I reduced the main lead vocal for the male. It was a little bit um, dominating, and so I had to reduce it so that the other vocals can sit properly. And also, apart from that, this is what I did to uh, the group channel. What you saw me doing was I had to put compressor de isa onto the top. There is uh, a way you arrange your plugins. If your vocal after balancing is not sounding that great, then try to rearrange your plugins. And in, in, in this case, try to put the compressor first and then the EQ second. If the compressor first doesn't work, then put the EQ first and compressor second. But in my case, compressor de isa first is working properly. And then what I did was to give the backings more air so that the backings can really have, uh, can sit properly. And one of the reasons why sometimes the backings don't sit properly is because there's no air. So I raise up around uh, 18,600 and uh, 18,617 uh, is just gonna work, always works. That's the spot for the air. And then cut down a little bit and then cut down this area 140.60 hertz for more clarity. If you wanna get clarity, this is the area where you cut. All right, and also around 413.33 uh, hertz clarity area around 806.13 as well and around 1976.9 and also around 2998.9 hits cut that area and your backings and your uh, chorus is just gonna sound great and also the other thing that i did with uh, uh sled digital was to give air high uh high fielder air a little bit 1.44 not too much but just a little bit and then to make the vocal sound subtle and cooler cool or warm a little bit cooler cut down a little bit of those high mids this is what i did to make the chorus sound like that then what you also saw me do was to put a, 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 a reverb to my sense, a reverb and no delay onto the, the chorus. The reverb is connected to all these. And now to make the vocals even sweeter and sound great, you saw me doing coming here and also uh, opening up the sense and adding another delay negative 19.17 that's the area where it's uh, the, the the vocals the chorus sounds better so to each vocal from this one to this one and this one this one and this one all of these backing vocals have delay second delay on apart from the main are also added to each individual track so the vocal can really sound the the chorus can really sound great and so this is how you balance and treat your chorus i hope this video has helped you see you in part number seven it's a series mm -hmm.